Let me start again. Because they love him in London, in Paris, and in Tokyo, America, Scotland, Canada, and Mexico. Oh, Jesus Christ. They say, with me now, I believe in Joe Hendry. I don't believe I in that believe guy. in Joe Hendry. I, I don't even think Jimmy believes in that guy. I don't I don't I don't I don't believe in Joe Hendry. I'm not no? gonna lie. Nah, no, not but, at all. But not a did big you, Joe did you Hendry listen? guy. You know what I'm gonna say? That's oh, gonna yes, start. Catch this. Your theme. You ready? You, you probably aren't gonna expect this. You know what that kind of pop he got at NXT? That was a fucking John Cena pop. That's what that was. Oh, oh no, no, no such that a tiny arena. I, that, I don't that's give a such shit. a tiny arena. I don't bro. give that, a shit. That, that's the performance center. That literally only houses like maybe it's, 4,000 people. It still shook the camera a little bit. I'm, I'm, that's a John the Cena camera. pop. Jesus John Cena pop. Shook the camera. Dying we're on already, that hill. We're already He's wilding. dying on that hill. Dying on that fucking hill. Because I believe in Joe Hendry. We're already wilding. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wrestling Fans Wallen. I'm your host, Jimmy Luca, your favorite sexy boy. To my right, well, I have your other favorite sexy boy. I am the Scotty Mac. Even though we don't know what the fuck he looks like. Yeah, I don't know if he's nope. sweating under there because it's really hot in here. It's hot as balls. Yeah, I'll probably feel it in a minute. But Oh, my God. Hot and sticky like my balls. Just stick hey, my out. There we go. Um, and, then, and then there's me, the other sexy boy, Yuri. How you doing? Can you can you be a sexy boy if you give it to yourself? If you give it to yourself, you just never mind. What the fuck does that even mean? Because because Jimmy Gig said it said the other one, then you said. You oh, I'm just confident in my damn self. If someone don't think I'm I mean, a sexy not, boy, they can fuck off. We're not saying you're not, but you know, it's just <laughs> it's like it's like the Lakers taking those five championships from Minnesota. It's fine. When the fuck was that? When they before they when they left and the when they expand, well, way back. You oh, think, so before we were a twinkle in our parents' eyes. Yes. Yep. You think we're gonna get more of uh, your boy in NXT now, Joe Hendry? Yeah, uh, almost I mean, definitely. Maybe. That, most that, definitely, most definitely, yeah. because they liked the uh, the pop that he got. Like he was mentioning it. Oh, I'm man. telling you, it was a pop. Yeah. I mean, I, I, as much as I'm not a, as much as I don't believe in Joe Hendry, <laughs> Joe Hendry, whatever. Mm. Um, apparently, numbers don't lie because he's had a lot of views for that I one. Say, what is, do we have an official view count on that? I think it's like what is three that? million. 3.5 mil right now. Uh, hey, in WWE, I mean, in, in, in our group chat, that would that would be numbers, number stock. So, I mean. Pretty much. Ugh. That's but, very true. But, and, yeah, no. Look, Pooch was asking about that. A- NXTNA, ladies and gentlemen, that's a real thing right now. WWE TNA, actually. I mean, up until they actually start putting TNA superstars on, like, Raw and SmackDown, I still think it's just NXT. I think it's going to be the other way around, to be honest, and I, we, we, could, we could dive all the way fucking into it. I think that uh, we got some guys going to TNA soon. Multiple guys. Probably. I mean, AJ's going to uh, Noah, Japan, in what, yeah. a couple weeks? Yeah, he's going to be he's, facing Mara Fuji. You don't think he's going to show up? And you don't oh, think I, he's going to go I to think, TNA at some point? I think he will. At some yeah. point. I will. Yeah. Like, I mean, it, when you least expect it, he, he, they're going to bust out his old theme. Yeah, and then it's going to be mayhem I wherever am, he is, or get ready to fly or some I whatever. Am, yeah, get ready to f- that one. That one's better, I think. Yes, hundred percent. Um, I got a, I got a, I got a wild card. I'm gonna throw in in here for you guys. I think that uh, we just saw Drew McIntyre quote unquote quit. I think he's gonna go to TNA. He could. That's true. Or he just shows up on SmackDown on Friday and beats the bricks off of CM Punk. Why can't he do both? I mean, he said quit the company, though, so... It's a work. Oh, of course. It's but. definitely a work, but... It's definitely but. a work. He could, he could definitely show up Friday on SmackDown and whoop Punk's ass and still go to TNA. If he doesn't show up, he's going directly to TNA. But wait, is, is Punk, Punk is on SmackDown? Oh, it's in Chicago. He's, he's going, going, it's he's in Chicago. Going to, it's going like, to SmackDown. No, if you say, going to Chicago, that man's just going to be like, I'm just leaving the house. Because yeah. he yeah, that's obviously, it. obviously just leaves, lives yeah, in yeah. Chicago. That's it. Okay. Yeah. That, right. That's it. I was surprised to see him at Clash. To be real, he don't be leaving the uh, he don't be leaving the country. True. See, I mean, that was yeah, no. Like was I was like, fucking, damn, Drew's gonna win this, and then that sets up CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre. But no, he screwed him over very well, and then it was just like Drew doesn't get a title twice. Now. And, and then yeah, so that kind of feeds into my other theory of uh, Damian Priest losing his title at uh, SummerSlam. Mm-hmm. But I digress. Yeah. But it's I just think, I think he goes. I think he goes to TNA and. And and then comes back and he has his whole like CM Punk thing again. I still don't think. I mean, he can go anytime soon, but it's just like I don't know. The, I think the only person that I feel like in my bones is actually going to 
do that main roster to like TNA thing is um, AJ Styles. AJ's the only one. I'm standing on business. I think Drew Mac just for the plot, just to, yeah, just, just so plot. that he can say, <laughs> "Yo, I did the punk thing and I left and came back." Yeah. Even though it's clearly a, you know WWE and TNA are, are they've got something going on. I don't know how they're working it out with contracts and stuff. But would it would it be really funny if they call him Drew Galloway when he shows up? That would be fucking hilarious, actually. And because like I mean, they called Dana Brooke. Well, they almost called Dana Brooke. Do they Dana still Bro- call it the Impact Zone? Uh, I think they do now. Yeah, yeah. now that it's back to being yeah. TNA. Yeah, that's funny. But yeah, no, Vic, Vic Joseph almost flubbed. It was like that's Dana Brooke. That's Ash by Elegance. I'm like, yep. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> oops. Man, is, is he, he did the same thing with fucking Ethan Page. He was like, wasn't he an AA? Yeah, yeah, Until yeah. Until yeah. Booker T was like, right. AA. Right. You could say anything else except those three letters. Facts. The day that they do acknowledge that, I'll be like, I'll, it'll be like listening to Long Time by Playboy Cardi for the first time all over again. Shed a oh tear. Oh, my God. Tears. <laughs> And Jesus. if you know, you know. Like, come on now. If you, you know, probably you know. know. Oh, I'm. Oh, I know. Like when this motherfucker comes, he'll know too. Yeah. He'll be like, "Hey, yo, facts, for real." <laughs> but when when do we think that this Drew and because he's whether he goes to TNA or doesn't go to TNA, it's the end. Ga- the end game is Punk versus Drew, right? When do we think that this is gonna happen? Summer SummerSlam. Slam. We're solid on that. Yeah. Yep. All right. Right. There's gotta be I think it's I think it's gonna be a three match situation. Yeah. I think we're gonna see SummerSlam and I think it's gonna my prediction because they announced bad blood. <laughs> oh I I can see you cooking. Uh, they announced, I was thinking the same shit. They announced bad blood for October. I think that the first match happens at SummerSlam. Second match happens somewhere bad in between blood. there. Oh. And then Bad Blood is in October, so they can have a final Hell in a Cell, maybe. Yeah. Even though Punk's not fond of like, I don't think Punk could. No offense, I don't think Punk can handle a Hell in a Cell. I don't think he can either. But it's no. not about it's not about what he can handle or not handle. I think not, he's still gonna fucking do it. The way that he looks right now, I feel like he could, if you uh, don't put him in a match. No, too many matches no. in between. No, no, I no, I no, uh, uh-uh. no, nah. he cannot, he cannot do a Hell in a Cell. There's no way. I'm a, I'm a die on that hill and say that that match actually is going to happen. Because that's the only way to end it. Because the thing is, he knew he was fucking beat the fuck up in AEW, and he yeah. still had all these crazy matches. That's what and I'm saying. Vince, he had a dog collar match when he was bleeding basically pints of blood. Mm. And overprotective Vince is not there anymore. So yep. who's there to really be like, yo, I'm going to fucking, you, you, can't, you can't wrestle. You're, you're too, you're made of glass. Like, no plus one's going to do that. Plus, it's like Triple H is going to look at him and be like, can you Real? do it? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. He's going to okay. be like, are you? He's going to ask him multiple times, and CM Punk will continuously to say, yeah. Real glass. And be like, all right, go ahead. River. Look at my... And then, yeah, they're going to tear the house down. This is literally the only way to end this rivalry. It is that much of hatred. So, it it won most lead it to that years. point. Like, have the first match of SummerSlam. It ends in whatever fashion. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe give Drew the dirty win or whatever, or ends in a DQ or whatever. Right. And then that proceeds to give us everything else. Or it ends clean with someone winning, a.k.a. CM Punk. That still leads Drew to be like, I still hate your guts, you bitch. And then next yeah. thing you know, that gives Drew more of a comeuppance after something happens. And then it ends with Hell in a Cell. Why do you keep fucking that? It's messing with the sound. Oh, my bad. I you're like that. you're like making it go in and out, in and out. I don't know if you're <laughs> horny or what's going on. My nice. bad. Nice. <laughs> Sorry, so but yeah, I think thing. this is gonna. I think this is gonna end at, at bad blood. Um, very, very early prediction. I, I think I, at first I was very like, why the fuck are they bringing back bad blood? Such a random thing. But they could only bring it back because they feel like it means something. And yeah, it's gonna be it, like right now. It means something. Right now, it's it's almost like when they first introduced bad blood, which was uh, two thousand three. No. Was it in the? That. Was it two thousand and three? It was two thousand two, two thousand three. It, it was like around that. Do the research now. Hold on. Gotta Google it up right now. Go ahead, test me. Test me. I'm, uh, it's been a while. Do it. What do we got? Let me see. Oh two oh three. Taylor Swift. Because <laughs> now Hold we on. got them. I knew it. I mean, Kendrick is performing pretty soon I'm in sure LA, he was, he so he might perform that. <laughs> That'd be funny, actually. That's probably one of the friends he invited. 
Yep. Yep. Uh, come on, Scotty. How do you not fucking know this shit, bro? I said 2002, 2003. 97. Bad blood? Bad yep. blood. No, yes. no, yeah. no, 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 no. That was the first no, one. No, no, no. Sean no, versus no. Taker, Hell in a Cell. That was the first one. That was ever in your in house. No. Nah, bad blood yeah, that's in different. your house. Bad blood, the whole different. If like, you look up bad blood oh, and right, it gives you the list of events, hold on that's the first one. Do you want to bet with that man? I mean, I'm thinking about it. Oh, don't do that. It's the first one. I mean, yeah, that was the first Hell in a Cell. But yeah, Bad Blood. All right, fine, in your house. But I was right about the other one, 2004. I was close. <laughs> no, you were right the first time, 03. 03, all right. 03 was Triple H versus Kevin, Kevin Nash in Hell in a Cell. Yeah. God awful. Yep. Was it? Oh, yeah, it was. It was anything with Kevin Nash is pretty god awful. I'm not going to lie. Bruh, it, it, it reminds me of the uh, Who Killed WCW documentary. It's like I showed you that tweet last night. I've been meaning Everyone to watch in that. that documentary is failing to take responsibility for yeah. anything. But I digress. That's the chaos that I like to thrive on. I like, high key want to go to the State Farm Arena for this for this uh, pay per view in October though. Might I have mean, to hit up Cooge and see what's up. Hey man, we can do that on a weekend. Fuck it, let's go. But um, yeah, no, th- that's in terms of Drew and CM Punk. We can definitely so, see that. So it reminds me of what I was saying before, Scotty. Yes. Bef- before you thought that I was I was wrong and, and you were right. <laughs> is is uh. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, you son of a bitch. <laughs> That was definitely that's that's definitely one of my greatest fucking Vince moments of all time. That was so good. Yes, I have some. Fucking sue me. Um <laughs> Yo, it just it definitely reminds me of like the first the first bad blood where it was Shawn Michaels and Taker had in the cell. fucking bad yeah. blood. And that yeah. was yep. what the whole premise of the paper pay per views and like their names used to mean something back in the day. So it's cool to see Bad Blood make its return and basically um, replace Hell in, a, Hell in a Cell. Yeah, mm-hmm. like Hell in a Cell having like his own title. It was in October. Hell in a Cell, Hell in a Cell is October, right? Yep. Yeah, usually yeah. fall time. Along with, much. along with uh, Extreme Rules, I think. Mm-hmm. Extreme Rules is more like in December. No. Uh, oh, he might. Yeah, mm, he might. He might. I be think right. you're right. He might yeah, be right. yeah, because yeah. November Survivor Series. But yeah, no. Let's see. In terms of other pay per views, Money in the Bank is coming up. Yeah, we got. And we already Jay, got one match. Money. Jay Uso is uh, qualified, money. right? He. It's only six people for each match for the men and women. This Usually year. it's eight, right? Yeah, but they this year they're again? like three from Raw, three from SmackDown. They're kind of sticking to that, I which guess. is great. But yeah, no, I Jay Uso is yeah. the only one that's qualified so far. Um, I heard that Friday's triple threat involves Carmelo, um, or in it, Tama uh, Tonga and Randy Orton. Orton. Yeah, yeah. There's another one with Kevin Owens in it too. I think I can't think of yeah. who the other two are. Yeah, that's something too. But um, in terms of the only confirmed match, it's just Damian Priest and Seth Rollins. I'm like, damn, Seth, you really came back. Seth he Rollins literally pulled really a, he, he pulled came a Becky. back. He pulled a Becky. He pulled a, what, his own, what his own wife would do. Yeah, I'm like, bro, are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? He really came back. Are you back. sure about that? But, but you know what I think is, well, the, what I think is going to happen is Seth isn't going to win that match. And the only reason why is because of how Monday night ended. Oh, with the white six? Yep, they're gonna interfere. First, uh, we'll see. Let's get, I, let's get to let's let's get to that soon because okay. I want to I want to get really really dissect that. Yeah, but do we really think that Seth came back too soon? Because I think I don't think they would they would. I mean, I didn't expect it. I I thought he would be off for a little longer. I mean, oh, going yeah, off no. for what two months? Yeah, yep. I did too. It's a little quick for especially yeah. for what the injury was. Right? It was right. partially torn. It wasn't a full tear, but it was sure. partially torn. So he still needed surgery. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, at the same time, like, I don't <clears> think Raw's hurting for any any. Well, I, I mean, I don't remember the last time I actually finished an episode of Raw, but <laughs> uh, I don't think that. I'll they're tell hurting. you, I finished a lot. Out, I finished last Monday's. I watched the whole thing. The whole, the <laughs> you, you, you it was finished. decent. Yeah, oh, no. so you always finish on a Monday. Yeah, uh, that's on a, a Monday. Raw. <laughs> <laughs> One on a Monday, died on a Sunday. Oh uh, shit! What's that? You, you recognize that, right? Yeah. But it's, <laughs> oh my god! Hey, yo, Scott. <laughs> no. Why are you like this? What this fucking guy? Why? Why am I like I this? Love it. You know why? called autism yuri oh yeah uh, too much oh he has a little bit of the tism yeah, I, 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 I listen to take his needed i, I know that. <laughs> i fucking love that we got a lot yeah man shout out that's coming up next. <laughs> <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> oh so much chaos yo um rollins is not i'm, I'm happy he's back 
but he's not winning that. It was a genuine surprise, but I feel like it. Not that it was needed, but like I, I it was just a genuine surprise, and I didn't think he could be coming back as soon. I didn't. As well. It was a shock. It was a genuine shock. I don't think anybody can sit there and say that they actually saw him coming back that soon. Honestly. No, yeah. facts. Like that shit was wow. Like they really fucking did that. Yeah, they did. Right. Yeah. No, and. It's good that there's kind of like some long term storytelling with both of them because, like Damien said, he was the first to challenge Seth back when Seth originally won the title last year mm-hmm. and lost. Now, a year later, it's the other way around. Rightfully so. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, it, it's like I pointed out real quick. It's like Seth isn't going to win. There's going to be an, inter- an interference by that very group. I, and I don't think they're going after Seth right away, but sorry, go on. I mean, I'm, that's my why prediction. Would they, why are they going after Seth, though? They would need someone to be the first victim. They already have. I they mean, already, already had, had their first, first, no, like yeah. victims. first oh, victim. First official victim. Yeah. yeah, everyone, everyone that died. R.I.P. Chad Gable. R.I.P. Chad Gable. R.I.P. Kaiser. Kaiser. No, it was Gunther. Was it Gunther? It was, Gunther. was it? Gunther. Was it? it was Gunther. Hey yo, how many people I'm, died? I'm almost positive. I thought it was Kaiser. I, I'm 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 like eighty five percent. I haven't seen any R.I.P. fucking Kaiser or Gunter. Like all I see is R.I.P. Well, Chad. It was, like, was kind of hard to see. Like like Gable was the only clear cut exactly who it was. Yeah, no, there was a lot of casualties, man. R.I.P. to everyone that died at the end of Raw. Like I still find it very funny how Jay Uso escaped all of that. True. <laughs> that man Did, was out in the crowd just. Just he, fucking doing his yeet, thing, and then next thing you know, it's like he's doing an interview. He's like, um, "I'm gonna get the fire flash back, and uh, I'm gonna get out." Get the hell uh, out Kathy, you should leave too. There was, um, there was something in one. Where of are the, they uh, getting this from? Are you seeing this? It? Oh no! In a shocking backstage assault, the newly formed Wyatt Six faction wreaked havoc on several WWE superstars, leaving chaos in their wake. During the dramatic closing moments of the show, top names like Carmelo Hayes, Gunther, yep, yep. Dominic Mysterio, and Triple Chad H, Gable. Chad Gable, and Cody Rhodes were targeted and symbolically left for dead. I, see, I, didn't, see, I didn't see Cody or Triple H. Or, yeah, I didn't see. But I heard yeah. Dom, I heard Gunther, and I OFC oh, Chad, and uh, who else? Those oh, names are either confirmed to have been... Those names are either confirmed to have been attacked because they were seen on camera, or it's highly assumed. So the Chad Gable yeah. one, obviously, was most, uh, like I said, was the most obvious because they showed him with a gunshot wound, a uh, head to the, you know, to the to the head, uh, wound to the head. That's what I meant to say. Braun Strowman uh, confirms if he was attacked by Wyatt Six on WWE Raw. Let's see. Yeah, see, no. that's a quick pick by Braun Strowman. Um, there was something along the lines in one of the QR codes where Uncle Howdy was saying. How you forgot to you, you you stopped saying thank you, and that was a direct shot at Chad Gable, which I didn't even hit at first. Okay, so maybe he will be like the first victim. Victim, ooh, sorry, ooh. Chad Gable. Uh, Chad Gable. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to take that back. Then I'm about getting. Seth. I'm getting. Um. I'm getting like anti-hero vibes from Y6, and I like it. Right, because they're they're attacking heels technically. They're atta- not. They're not just attacking well, heels. Now both, I, both I, it almost if Gunther was in there, right? Like you said. They're attacking heels who are like betraying people and doing people betraying, wrong. Betrayed people, yeah, true. I mean, yeah. this is how Brace started once upon a time. He basically was just like, if I think you're on a cause that really doesn't like run parallel to mine, or if I don't agree with your message in terms of what you're conveying to the to the world, mm-hmm. you're kind of against me. You're kind of against the the bigger picture or whatever the hell his bigger picture was. Right, and that's yeah. what he used to do. And it's the same thing when he was um, the fiend. Like he just went out to certain people, mm-hmm. and it was just a rap for them. You might as well just call him the, the. There was no, but during the Vince, what I like about the YS6 stuff already is that there was no real like you couldn't pinpoint why, and this is why the writing is so fucking good. And shout out to like uh, Rob Fee, he's the he's the he's guy that created the uh, the Fiend mask, right? And how did stuff? Not just that, but and, and he did the not not what's, what's the one that um. Not Ethan, is it Ethan Hawke that did recently? Mm, what black, did he do? Black, he, he, did a, he did a movie. Oh, the Black Phone? Black Phone, thank you. Yeah, yeah if you look up the Black Phone movie, he did that mask too. It's pretty cool. Yeah. But either way, this is kind of a good thing where it's like everyone in that faction has now has their moment to shine. Sure. The fact that we haven't seen Bo Dallas in the... Uh, well, WWE yeah, Director of Character Development. Oh, nice. That motherfucker is nasty, bro. Mm. Nasty. Because 
in the Vince era, and this is why Bray, like, in the Vince era, and R- yo, fucking RIP to Bray, bro. Like, I'm so fucking happy that this happened finally. I think that there's some, there's, I think there's a minority who think, like, just leave it alone. Like, the, his, his legacy should, like, die with him or, 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 like, live on just through him. And it's like, no, why can't it live on through something that, you know, this was, this was set up. Like, this was what was supposed to be his group. This is what they were building towards. That's why yeah. Uncle Howdy was coming out when he was, uh, when, when he was doing his stuff when he came back. Yep. Um, but fucking killed it. Like, the reason why the Bray character didn't, Bray's character, even though he had, like, some creative control he didn't have all of it during the vince era they just had him fucking go after whoever with no real reason you couldn't really like you couldn't really like uh tag a theme to it now you're looking at chad gable or gunther you're looking at guys not just heels but heels who are doing other people dirty pretty much and it's giving an anti-hero vibe and i like it but then again that means we need chad gable to become a baby face which we kind of don't at the moment because no, he's kind of been mean, rolling all cylinders. Plus, no, it's like, we don't need him to be. What I'm saying is, this is a, this is going to be an anti-hero faction. No, no, it definitely. So is. they will they will go after heels, or they'll really, or they could just be going after whoever the fuck they want, and that'll make it even more interesting. Yeah, no, no, that I mean, that's what. If anything, that's the point that I was going to make. I feel like that's their end goal, where it's just like. We really just don't give a fuck, and I'm just we're just gonna go after whoever we see. I mean, yeah, the only and one, yeah, the only one. I mean, I I, I kind of do. I somewhat agree with the heel thing, but the only one I question is is I don't think Carmelo is really a heel unless you. He count. was in there, right? Uh, that's what I, I've read that too. I've heard his name pop up. I mean, they, I, they it say, looked like he was in there, but they, I don't know if it was just like somebody who was security back there or sure, whatever. Maybe. I mean, they, they probably say that. Oh, because of what he did to Trick Williams recently. That's why he's there. He's a heel or oh, whatever. Oh, wow, yeah. But, like, and then, of course, you know, Guy, uh, Gunter kicked, what's his name? Giovanni Vinci out. Yep. Uh, Kaiser, was, was Kaiser was part of that, too, Ka- yep. which he was in there. Yep. Yeah. And then Chad did what he did to Maxine Dupree and um, Otis and uh, Tazawa. So, yeah. Yeah. All I'm going to say is, Tony Khan, man, you think you had it fucking bad in AEW backstage, feeling threatened and shit? Be, <laughs> be, be thankful you're not in WWE with the Y6, because it'd, it'd, really be, it'd really be fucking... Speaking of, I, of TK, do you think he's going to sign Ricochet? You think Ricochet's gone? For real? Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah, no, I think he's done all that, he's, all that he can in WWE. I don't disagree. You know, who, you know who's been in his ear? Who? His bruv, Will Ospreay. Oh shit! Yeah, it'll huh? be a whole lot of flippy shit. They're gonna, they, yeah, he's, but it's I just, guarantee you, he's been in his ear. It, it, it's going to be kind of like, oh, bro. Yeah. It's where he, it's it's where he could thrive most, but I don't I don't really know that thriving. Mo- I, I think at most he'll get the fucking TNT championship over there, bro. He's not winning a world championship. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Sure. No fair. I'm sorry to any wrestling fan. That's no fucking knock on Ricochet. That's we love Ricochet. We love Samantha Irving. I, you know. We, we want this podcast to fucking reach ears without sound like haters. We just call it how we see it. Yeah. We be wilding out. He, he, can, he can definitely get re-signed. There, that's definitely a possibility. He could get re-signed. But. I saw that, but I think that he's probably... This is an industry where, like, somebody's constantly in your ear, especially when the contract's ending, whether you're on one side or the other. And you know that TK was definitely in his ear already, and... Probably giving him some promises, but I can't imagine that any promises will really be fulfilled other than, like I said, a TNT championship. Yeah, no, and even then, I don't really feel like he can promise that to anyone. I mean, if he does, it's kind of wild, but it is what it is. Yeah. But um, but it also goes to say, we see how this pattern goes. Unless you're someone with extreme motion in terms of wrestling, when you go to that company, you're only you're basically like the new the new toy. That someone's playing with, and then next thing you know, like in a, a month or two later, you're just relegated to fucking rampage. rampage. <laughs> right, right. And then it's like you're then sitting there wondering, oh, I'm getting paid, but what the fuck? I really came here thinking that I had a real opportunity to do more than what I was doing over there, but then I'm basically in the same position. It's either, hey, bro, you can re sign here, continue to go after different championships in terms of mid cards, and maybe, just maybe. You have another world championship match, and by all means, you can prove you and me wrong. Have like a Kofi Mania type moment somewhere down the line, mm-hmm. 
Or you can go to AEW, get the bag, which you'll you'll definitely earn. Guaranteed but, things yeah. in AEW. The bag and five-star matches. Other than that, as far as... Bro, I don't know, man. Like, I, I still don't see... I still don't see much to be, like, excited about for the future. I mean, MJF's back over there. I'm, I'm hyped for that. Will Ospreay, I feel like he's tasting the world title. He, he's, he, I think he's going to get it a lot sooner than later. Um, I don't know how you guys feel about that. but It's either he wins it at Forbidden Door or he wins it at Wembley. I don't know which one would be bigger for him. I think either walking into Wembley with that championship or walking out of it would be a very good feel-good moment for him or okay, yeah. winning it outright over there mm-hmm. would be a bigger moment for mm-hmm. him. Still trying to determine which one he, he wants or how they're trying to book it because the fact that they actually put that match this, this soon is surprising. Right. But I digress. I mean, yeah, that's true. I mean, he's already facing Swerve for the world title. I, I, I would think that he would want to walk out of the walk in, not champion, walk out champion. That's that's my that's my guess. So kind of like in terms of long story, longer storytelling, where it's like, yeah, he loses this one. Shenanigans but like, happen, yeah, yeah, shenanigans happen. But it's kind of like with Swerve, where it's like the first time he had a title match, he didn't win. The second time, he didn't win either. That's the true. third time, what's the charm? That's true, you're right. I'm not saying he's gonna have a, a second and a third, but he'll have a second at Wembley. Like he'll earn his spot back, and then next thing you know, it'll be there. If he doesn't win at Forbidden Door. I mean, Ricochet could show up as early as Forbidden Door. You think so? Yeah, his contract expired. Yeah, but what about the no no compete? It expired. I don't think that counts. I think if you get let go, then you have the 90 days. But if it expires. The release, yes. Yeah, if you're 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 released, yeah, that's that's different compared to just letting it expire. Fucking Scotty fucking Esquire right here, Bang, 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 bang. That's crazy. Actually, I have a new, um, I have a new, uh. Oh, here we go. Charting system. How we grade things here? Oh, that's my oh face. shit! When were you gonna? Oh, wow. <laughs> this fucking guy, huh? Look at this guy. Two. You know what? That the was, reality is a yeah, ten. Yeah, it is a ten. A ten. Hey, can I see that? Yeah, sure. Yeah. In the throat. Fuck that. Jesus it. fucking Christ! This fucking guy. Oh, here we go. Fuck you. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking go. I love it here. Oh, shit. Um, it, but the but but back to, back to the Y six thing. There's a lot of people who are worried about whether or not this is going to end up um, not working out, and I can't. Anything can happen, right? But we got to stand on business with our takes, with our beliefs. We can't be sure. oh, you know, playing it safe. I don't think it, I don't think it's gonna ever fall flat. I don't think we're not in the Vince era anymore. This is already creative as fuck. Am I, am I wild for saying even this? This is the scariest thing that I've seen on live television, pro wrestling wise, since probably the Ministry of Darkness. You weren't a kid in the 1990s watching a six foot pale skinned man coming down uh, with dead look in his eyes. With his, with, with his with, even creepier with his posse. Creepy, exactly. Um, I would say, I, I think... Since then. Since then, I mean, sure. Since, like, like old school, old school Undertaker when we were kids, kids, you know? Yeah. I feel like they've tried, and this is what Bray wanted. This is what Bray wanted. This was his creative vision along with Rob Fee. Shout out to Rob Fee, but shout I, out to Bray Wyatt and his creative mind. Bro. I always, I, I, I just feel like, and, and I, I think the whole Vince era, that, I don't think that really matters. Because, I, I mean, Bray thrived under Vince. You know what I mean? Mm, it, I he, mean thri- he thrived as only, much as he could because of himself. But right. he also died, not, not physically, but like his, his creative because control only went so far because of Vince. That's no, that's fair. It. No, yeah. I mean, he, he, I feel like Vince, if anything, did probably did hold him back probably a tiny bit. But like at the, other, at the other side of it, we don't know if it actually, if you know. 100%. But what I was going to say is, like, I feel like... They went over it a little bit in the doc, though, right? Did they? I yeah. don't remember. Okay. It's been... Um, I, I believe. I believe you. I decided. Yeah. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm just saying... I, so, I think that, like... So, I think, presentation-wise, they're, they're always... Anything Wyatt does is always a fucking 10 out of 10. Yes. It's, and it, it's until they get into the ring is when it kind of... Not, not saying that Bray was ever bad, but, like, I mean, his last match with LA Knight was not that great. 
it wasn't. I don't think that's there was at least one or there's at least one or two other matches where we can say that match was kind of a flub. I would probably put the blame on uh, L.A. Knight and the the, the cheesy stipulation. It almost felt like one of those. That was a Vince thing, though. That that was was definitely a Vince Vince thing. 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 It almost felt like one of the last Vince things to do. Yeah. And realistically, we are under the under the Triple H era. Who the, the guy knows what's best for business. I mean, at the end of the day, like. You also have Nick Khan there. They have to do things like gimmick matches, and they have to do things like put the Prime logo in the ring during the pay per views. And they got to, I get it. But I think that this is going to work. I'm standing on business with that. I don't think that this is going to, granted, Cooge made a, made a decent point where I don't, I, I say decent because I only believe in that with certain individuals of the group. But they, yes, they took a bunch of mid to low card talent and grouped them together. But at the end of the day, I'm a firm believer in the fact that if you take a bunch of guys who are maybe mid to low card guys and you put them in a faction, it can very well fucking work. And that could be it the could. very thing that catapults their careers. Just like we've seen with singles competitors where they just need a gimmick change. And all of a sudden, boom, Nikki Cross, perfect for the job. Eric True. Rowan was already there. Uh, nah, so, no, he, they brought him in. He's, no, I'm saying like like he was oh, like he was BLG. already in the Wyatt yeah, family yeah, yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Joe uh, Joe, Joe Gacy, Gacy. perfect was, for the fucking job. Dexter Loomis, perfect for the job. Especially with Joe Gacy, because I kind of thought when he was in NXT and what they were trying to do with him was kind of like make a great 2.0. value version. We've been of talking Ray. about <laughs> yes, we've been talking about this for fucking 2 or 3 years on this yeah. podcast. Ross, and, and mind you when they made that schism thing and they found out very early that that shit did not work, they were just like we're not going to give up on you in a sense, but here's what we're going to do. You so, actually belong as part of this vision mm-hmm. that was already here. So, instead of trying to recreate it, we're just going to place you into Put that you because in. you basically fit the mold. Right. So you're saying Joe Gacy is, is a raw stress for less Bray Wyatt. He's a what? Raw stress for less Bray Wyatt. I, I want to compare him to the man, but I friends guess. Of the, friends on the West Coast and the South know raw stress for less. Oh, man. It's just like an, it's like an Ollie's or like a Bob's discount furniture. Oh, wait. You, you talk about, oh, yeah. Ross. Ross is. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Now I get you. Mm-hmm. I'm lost. Yeah, um, I get it. But, uh, okay, yeah, no, and then Dexter Loomis was already giving me the creepy vibes anyway. Like, I mean, that's what when, he was doing, yeah. When he was getting married to Indy and he was just like... All the people in act. this faction make sense. That's my point. Bo Dallas, yeah, formerly known as Bo Dallas, Uncle Howdy. Yes, I've had people be like, yo, you know, he, it's, it's Bo Dallas. Like, that's going to fucking fail, whatever. But it's Bray's brother. And his heart is in it just off the strength yeah. of that. Yeah. So... No, I'm not part of the the minority right now who think that this is going to fall flat. This is going to fuck so hard every week. It's probably I hope that it stays on um I do hope that it stays on Raw. I know SmackDown. I was just talking to somebody earlier about the fact that Raw it, it was once SmackDown was better than Raw, but now it's starting to be Raw is is becoming better than SmackDown, which they desperately needed because it's a three-hour show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so I, with that said, I do hope that they stay on Raw, but, man, they can fucking go anywhere with this shit. They yeah. don't, they're not... When I think of YSX, I don't think they're fucking... They, you know, uh, they're, they're held to whatever brand because of a draft or because of Adam Pearce or whoever. Like, they can do whatever the fuck they want. We, yeah, got, no, a, right. we got a horror... And a, a true horror NWO on our hands with this one, and yeah. I'm, I'm I couldn't be happier. I, I mean, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on a giving a real harsh yes or no. I, I have hope for it. I do hope it does take off and does become something. But um, I mean, I, I I love it for the spooky vibes alone. So mm-hmm. I'm totally cool with that. Um, we'll just we'll just see how. I mean, I think you said it. We said it best is like five or six mid. Mid or mid carters that don't haven't really done much or, or ever anything ever anywhere, uh, and we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how it they goes. They needed this, and I think Bray knew that he needed them. And I say oh, yeah. Bray because these guys were in talks, in the rumors. That's to right. Be they were part of the Wyatt for Six for a long time for yeah. since he came back. Yep. So 
I'm 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 happy with it, and and I'm excited to see where this goes. You no, know I'm glad as long as Karrion Cross is in it, is it in it anymore? I'm fine with it. <laughs> yeah, facts. Because that was that was yeah, yeah. See, the thing of him is just that, and this is coming from a guy who's actually watched. His and I like him. NXT, but Karrion? I I like I like Karrion. Do you? I like Karrion as this. Not, this is very Stephen A. of me, but I like Karrion as a person. <laughs> Like I would love to pick. No, seriously, I how follow long, him how long on. Been IG. Friends with him? I didn't know that. You guys are buds. Jesus Christ! I follow him on IG. Oh, he's got okay. a lot of like similar interests that we have. Like he, I think he's a collector, or he seems like a big nerd. Yeah, um, he least. seems like it. Yeah, uh, not real. I mean, the the big nerds are like Gargano, Cardona, Ethan Page. I well, they collect. Yeah, but I know, like I've I've seen him. When I watch his promos and even stuff that he posts like on IG, it's it's it stems from a lot of like villains from like Marvel and sure, and, fair. And, you know, like how he he was breaking that broomstick with his 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 fucking calves. Yeah, yeah. Christ. <laughs> um, but on Let's put screen, that on the fucking BDSM website. I on screen, be, be carrying across. Like uh, well, I don't know the guy. I feel like in NXT he was cooking, and they had him just right there. And then until Adam Cole, oh yeah, no Adam Cole cooked his ass. But let's just say the last couple wrestling shows I've gone to, anytime Karrion Cross has been on, I go to the bathroom. Not while the women are on, because I'm not sexist. <laughs> hey, 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 that's right. Hey. Times changed. I've seen you do that before. You have, but I I pee a lot, but I do <laughs> sacrifice Karrion Cross time. You blame that shit of, on your bladder? Come on. Yeah, I do. Yes, he does. All right. Well, <sighs> ladies and gentlemen, this has been. Wrestling fans wilding. Episode 47? 47? 47? 48? 47? We're 47. almost at 50. Yeah, I think yeah. we're at 40. Yeah, we're yeah. almost at 50. That we're going to we're gonna have to celebrate me, or something. That makes me very happy. Celebrate good times. Come on. Come on. Bump, bump, later, Gators. <laughs>